Popsies, back at you with another video. I'm Megan and I'm going to be doing an unboxing today. This is a big deal. I even brought a special sharp razor for this. <laughs> this is actually Brianna's. My sisters, if you don't watch this channel, this isn't usually just me here. But you will see an occasional video of just me, like right now. So in this video, I am going to be doing my unboxing of my Got7 albums that I got. I got all of them. Typically me and Brianna placed an order together, but I wanted all the albums. She placed an order with our cousin, Nana, and our other cousin, Marissa. Uh, they also are huge fans of God 7 so I will definitely show some of the stuff that I get It's not gonna be as detailed as like our old unboxings have been I'm not gonna show every single page because this is seven albums <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna open the box see what's inside and talk about the latest K-drama trend. Actually, I don't know if it is the latest, but I know the finale just aired like last week, I think, or this week, I don't know. My time isn't as free as it used to be. I can't watch K-dramas as often as I used to, mostly because I've been starting these solo videos, but I had to give in because I really wanted to watch this show. So the show, as you probably saw, is Startup. I am currently, I can say what I'm at right now because I literally was just watching it. I'm at season one, episode 10, which I'm pretty sure there's only gonna be one season, so just episode 10. I'm an hour and 10 minutes and 17 seconds into demo day. I'm gonna try to keep the spoilers to a minimum. I will kind of just talk about general stuff and try not to give anything too big away until the end. At the end, I'll talk about like the big spoilers and all of that. So I'm gonna open the box and then I'm gonna talk about everything. I have to open this really carefully. Probably using the wrong thing to open this, but really I just need to get it cut on the side and then I can pull. Oh my. <laughs> Uh, I did order from K-Town for you. They are my favorite to order from. Our first albums that we ordered were from some kind of, I don't even remember the website, but there's something about books. I don't know. I, I wasn't a fan. K-Town for you is usually, I'm kind of scared. They're usually good about sending the variety. If you order every album in the set, they send that to you. Like, I ordered seven, so I'm hoping I have all seven guys' albums, but I don't know. I did read somewhere that JYP was requesting that places randomize what they send. And I'm kind of hoping that's not the case here. I'm so afraid to cut myself. This was a dumb idea. I usually use my keys. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> I don't even know if I'm able to talk about any K-dramas while I'm opening these. Oh! <laughs> Wait, these are randomized. Good. Okay, well, ah, this is hard. I'm trying to see if the keychains are the same. So I have two of these. They're both Mark on the card that is. There's two different keychains in there. I don't know. I'll have to open those and see if those are the keychains that come with each of the guys. Okay, so I did see these cards and I'll show them, but oh my God, they're amazing. Like the the ones that are in here. I don't know what they're called. They're just huge cards of each of the guys and I think my favorite's the red, <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to look at them in person. So I have Young Jay Jackson, yeah! I'm so happy. I basically got all of my biases on these guys because I'm, I'm Hey, hey, I'm missing a keychain. Excuse me, somebody stole my keychain. Unless it fell out. Oh God, I'll have to look around, but I'm fairly certain it's open. It, it must have fallen in here somewhere. It better have fallen in there somewhere. I will call and complain. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not that good at complaining. Okay, Young J. Oh. Oh, that's English, but it's backwards. Come by my side. I think that's what that said, but it's backwards. So it's, and it's in cursive, so it's kind of hard to read. Oh, this will be good. Then I can see if the keychains are the same. Okay, so another young J. I got like three young J's. You are the one. 
Okay, so the keychains are different. It's just the cards of each of the guys that are in these that are different. So I don't know whose keychains I got when and where, but I got basically all my biases. I got JB, Young J, Jackson, and Mark. Those are like pretty much my biases. Even though I would have taken any, guys. Like really, they all bias wreck me. They're all, I'm just got seven biased. Okay, oh, please tell me I got all of them. That's what matters to me. Okay, so I got little JB. Oh my God. Oh, I cannot wait to open this. What I love, I, I did watch an unboxing. I really wanted to see what all was gonna come in here. I love how their names are on the CD. I think that's super, super cool. And these are huge. They remind me of the Present You and Me albums. Present You and Me albums were also huge. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. My album box is full. Look at that, my two ultimate biases. <laughs> Oh, we're right by each other. I'm so happy. Oh my god. I'm like a Jackson. He's gorgeous. Oh. Mark. Yep. See? You can probably see how his name is on the album. I think that's so cool. Ah, you go! Oh my god. God, he's... This comeback has really got me feeling quite yu gi -Oh biased. This man, Jin Young. <laughs> Ever since I watched him on He Is Psychometric, I have really, really appreciated him as just a whole person. He's so talented, he's really funny, and I'm falling in love with Jin Young, guys. I'm just in love with all of them. <laughs> Jay is looking so good in this comeback. I'm saying this unbiasedly, of course. Him and Yu Gyeom, Young Jay and Yu Gyeom are winning this comeback for me. I haven't seen any of the dance practices or anything like that. The comeback stages, I've been waiting to watch those with Brianna and she's been pretty busy, but they look so good in the music videos that I just cannot even. I cried for crying out loud when Young Jay appeared on Last Piece, which, I mean, of course that was because I was really sad that he wasn't there, but he's just so beautiful too. He comes in all his glory after that break. Oh, it's beautiful. Last but not least, Brianna's bias. Bam, bam. <laughs> Oh, uh, Bam looking really good in this comeback too. The reason, the reason I think I like those red cards the most is actually because of Bam Bam's card and Jin Young's card. Bam Bam and Jin Young and Yu Kyung too. Okay, I'll open the blue ones first and I'll open the ones with Jackson. I don't know whose keychain is whose. Knowing from the English ones, there's no names on them. I guess I would have to know their handwriting, but I can't say I know that. Maybe there's a video. I'll look. I'll look at Jackson. He's beautiful. These keychains are crazy cute. I did see a lot of criticism in the unboxing that I watched in the comment section. People saying that JYP did GOT7 dirty in this comeback because this is the first full album for years and this is all they got in here. Me personally, I don't know. I can appreciate simplistic things too. I just love GOT7. I mean, anything that has GOT7 on it, I appreciate it. So <laughs> I don't know how I feel about all that. I'm pretty, pretty neutral in it, I guess. I guess there is a part of me that might say like, yeah, there could have been more. In the present You and Me album, there was a ton of stuff. There was like a calendar and everything. And I mean, we got all that. We did the pre-order. There was like stickers of their faces. It was so cute. And that was like a year, two, a year, two years, two years ago. Yeah, when we unboxed that. Oh, that's cute. There is something kind of odd about this though. It looks bubbly. It kind of, I don't know. The cutting just doesn't look smooth. I don't know if that makes sense. The edges are just kind of rough. I don't know. I do like the keychains. They're plastic, which I actually like that because if these were glass or something, I'd be afraid to <laughs> drop it and break it. But I don't even know if I'm gonna be using these, honestly. I'm looking at my keys right now and I'm like, would I? 
I don't think I would. I don't trust it. I'm afraid to lose one and that would make me sad. Maybe if I had a spare, I would, but I don't know. That makes me really scared. I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with them. I would try to read this. It's kind of cloudy on this side where you read it from. It's so hard to read Korean that is handwritten. <laughs> I can read Hangul, but I cannot read. I, I can kind of, but it takes me so much longer. I'm not gonna try to do that on camera because I'm gonna embarrass myself. <laughs> But let's look at the cards. Okay, so my thoughts on the show so far. I'm really liking it. I saw where the love triangle was on the second episode and very early on too. And that's not me boasting. That's just me stating whenever I figured it out. That's probably not unique or anything. I'm betting a lot of people saw it. I feel like it was pretty obvious. I, I don't know. I just kind of felt like part of me was believing that Ji Pyong didn't really have feelings for Dami in that sense, that aspect. I feel like I was thinking more like he is going to possibly develop feelings with her over time over the show. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen, not a while, it hasn't been a while since I've seen episode two, but a lot has happened since then. So I don't know. If you guys like me talking about a K-drama, then maybe I'll try to do this in real time whenever I'm watching one, but I blow through episodes like this. This is why I cannot watch K-dramas whenever I'm so busy in life because I, I get so sick soaked in and I forget where my priorities are, <laughs> which is really bad. I just get so absorbed in K-dramas that I don't really care about other things that are priorities. I'm late to stuff, and, like work, and <laughs> it's really bad. I have a problem. <laughs> um, no, but all that aside, I, I just... I figured it out pretty early on. The first episode, by the way, was a tearjerker. If you've not seen the show, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But I did cry in the first episode, and I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I'll get to it. But once again, I'm sure I'm not the only person, the only genius that's like, oh, oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about if you don't understand what I'm talking about when I talk about the spoilers in the end. But yeah, let's look at these cards. JB. Ooh. And it's got their names on the back too. It's beautiful. Mark. They look so heavenly, just angelic. I had to look at JB again. I always have to look at JB. And this is the other man I always have to look at. <laughs> Jackson. Jackson looks so good in this comeback. Not to say that like Jackson didn't look good when I'm talking about Young Jay and Yu Gyeom all the time, but Jackson looks good too. I'm also just trying to be really impartial. I can't tell if that's a whole sphere. I think it is. Jin Young. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that was a whole sphere because this is a whole cube. Young okay. Jay. Guys, look. Look how good Sunshine looks. He's beautiful. Bam Bam. Okay, I don't know how to feel about the hair thing. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't think it's big enough for me to like really make much of a comment on because it's so small. But at the same time, it's like, that's pretty obvious too. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> I think I do in this comeback, I definitely liked him without it because he's without it, I'm pretty sure, in the red ones, and he looks really good in the red ones. Not to say he looks bad, just because he has that in his hair. Tell me what y'all thought about it. I I don't know how to feel about it. It's just, it's different. Bam Bam does these different things. Bro, look at him. Man, I don't know who won this comeback. It's so hard. They all look so good. I'm just gonna say it's a tie and be done with it. Let me open red one. I'll open JB's. Alright, so, talking about the show again. I guess I could talk about the characters and how I'm feeling about them at the moment. I'm sure the question is coming of who do I choose? I think I'll get to that in the spoilers at the end because I don't want to reveal stuff, but let's talk about the characters first. So, I'll start with, tell me, I... I really like her. I definitely choose her over her sister, but I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. There might be people that 
don't feel that way and I mean we all like different flavors of ice cream so it makes sense we all have different tastes. If there's a character I most relate to between her and her sister it's definitely her because her sister her, her sister's very materialistic she's money hungry power hungry I don't know it's just a lot of stuff that I can't relate to. Me as a person I can't relate to really any of that. I'm much more about living a simplistic life and character. Character matters a lot to me in general and I feel like if a person is that materialistic their relationships might be artificial as well. I don't know. That's not always to say that people that are like that don't have real relationships, but I feel like people like her sister will choose their power and their money over their relationships. And I, I, I can't feel that one bit. <clears throat> That's just not my character. I am not that way at all. So yes, I definitely side with Dalmi on all of that with her and her sister. And I'm sure I'm the majority in that. From the get go, I really didn't like her sister when they were kids. Especially that scene where she took her her music box. Oh my god. I just saw that coming. You could see. They showed that really well. I think the show portrayed that really well. Really the show in general portrays a lot of things really well. That's why I think I'm not the only person that is catching on to these things right away. I feel like probably a majority of people are catching these things right away. Because I think the writers of the show are doing a really good job of showing things before we figure them out, before it's like said, before a character states something. So before her sister revealed um, what she did during the music box scene, pretty sure we could kind of see that coming. Photo cards again. <laughs> oh, Jamie. Oh my God. I love him. God, look at him. He's gorgeous. The hair, he had this hair in Miracle too, kind of. I guess it might, might have been a little different. I haven't really gone to compare the two, but I think JB does pull off the mullet look better than others, but I'm just not really ever a fan of the mullet look, but he's still one of my ultimate biases. His hair ain't gonna change a thing for me on that. If I had to choose from his hair from this era and last era, I side with last era, but he still looks like, I mean, look at that. Fine, he's fine. Oh my God, okay. The red cards are totally my favorite. <laughs> I love the red cards. Look at Mark, look at Mark. God, Mark's always fine. Mark is always gonna be the guy that should have been my bias. And then Jackson showed up. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like love all over again, right Jackson? <laughs> Like how gorgeous he is. I don't have to tell y'all. Everybody knows how fine Jackson Wang is. Oh my god. Hmm. Mm. I honestly, I might take this back. I don't know. But I feel like in the red cards, Jin Young won. <laughs> Look at that. Mark might be a close second. I don't know, but look at Jin Young. I might change my mind. We're about to get to the two people that I thought won this era. I don't know. I don't know. He's so gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know. What do y'all think? I don't know. <laughs> Young Jay, my god. <gasps> Bro, look at Bam Bam on the red cards. <laughs> I don't know. I think Mock Line and Jin Young <laughs> won the red cards. I don't know. I can't choose. But yeah, look at that. He looks so good. <laughs> I just cannot believe I'm holding these cards in my hand, finally. I love these so much. <sighs> That's what I'm gonna show on those. Let me get the card out from this one. Oh, it's JB's card. The, okay, it says, yeah, come by my side. Is he holding flowers or is that a part of his shirt? I don't know, but he's gorgeous. God, how does he pull off the mullet so well? I just don't know. He actually makes me want to, there are a few exceptions that make me want to change my mind how I feel about the mullet haircut and JB is one of them. Okay, I don't know if I, 
should show the posters, should I? They're so huge and there's so many of them. I'm about to open seven posters. Brienne is usually much better about opening the posters than I am. I'm no good at it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna need help with these. I don't wanna mess them up. If you want to see the posters, then let me know. I will take photos of them and post them on any of our social media. Just let me know. But yeah, I'm afraid to tear these. I'm really bad about getting the posters out of the tubes. I don't know why. You can watch any of our previous unboxings and Brianna always had to get the posters out. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the albums and talk a little more about the show. I'm not gonna take too long going through these. At least I, I say that. I'm gonna try not to because I do wanna talk about some spoiler stuff at the end because I do wanna talk about this show. I don't wanna rip that. I don't want to. One of the unboxings I watched, the girl ripped it and I hated seeing that. <laughs> but now I think I see why she ripped it because I'm pretty sure it's unavoidable. Please don't let me rip it. I don't think this is avoidable, I really don't. Oh, wait, I think I got it. Oh, I didn't have to tear it, I'm so happy. JB, oh, the way this feels the same way, if you got present you and me, if you know what the CD sleeve felt like on that one, this is the same. Okay, oh man, it's nice. It looks real sleek. I just personally don't wanna put my hands on any of these CDs now. Um, and I'm not gonna, this is the only one I'm opening because I wanted to show that. I think that's really cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Breath of Love, Last Piece, and it just looks nice. I'm looking through JB's and I'm talking. Let's talk about Ji Pyong's beginning. I feel like that one should be easy enough to talk about. I don't think there's much of a spoiler there because you just have to watch the first episode to really get a grasp on it. When Dami's grandmother approached him, my heart melted because you could tell that he was really going through it from the moment that she saw him standing outside of her shop. When she asked him what he wanted, he had money, but then he said he wasn't hungry or didn't he already ate. I can't remember what he had said about it. He worked really hard to get where he is now and I can respect that a lot. I think of him compared to her sister. I do feel like her sister is working hard. Oh, that's so cool. The track list and it's so, uh, this is the kind of stuff that was also in Present You and Me. It's very similar. I feel like comparing her sister and Ji Pyong, I do feel like Ji Pyong definitely had to work harder. His circumstances were different. He came from the ground up. Even though she has gone off on her own to do her own thing, she probably is still recognized by these big wigs. I'm sure they possibly know who she is. She has money that she can work off of, and I think that also separates her from Dalmi too, because Dalmi is also kind of the same way. She's kind of ground up. I just feel like she does have much more of an advantage. Even though the show tried to make it seem like they were starting out at the same level, technically yes, but at the same time, I feel like she has many more resources at her feet, as opposed to somebody like Dalmi who has no connections, no, no nothing. And not to say, I mean, what I do respect about her sister is that she is trying to find herself. I, I do, I will give her credit for trying to work for her own thing, but still I do think it's for her own gain. That's not a bad thing. Who doesn't want to improve themselves and work for themselves? I do think when it comes to Ji Pyong, I definitely respect where he is, where he came from. I don't know, I, I feel personally, I haven't gotten to anything like this yet, but I feel like some Something. He did something in his past. I don't know. When her grandmother called him a good boy, he said he wasn't. And I don't know. I just feel like he's done something and maybe he hasn't. Maybe nothing ever is revealed, but that's just me personally. I feel deep down like he's done something. Oh my God. Why? With the words. <laughs> uh. Stop! God, this is like JB solo music. Deaf soul, 
Go look him up on Sound Sound SoundCloud. SoundCloud. I wonder why I was gonna say SoundCloud. Probably because I have those apps side by side. But yeah, SoundCloud. Go look Def Soul up. That is JB Solo Music, and it's amazing. Oh, I didn't even think about photo cards. I feel them. Oh, I'm so excited. God, it's a photo of all of them. I just love it. I'm just kind of randomly talking about thoughts with this show. I can probably do a fuller video if there's things that you, questions that you have for me for how I felt about this, this, and this. Um, I'm just going to try to spitball what I come up with. There's something, something. There's something about those twins, the AI twins. I'm gonna call them the AI twins. I'm sure they have a different name. Oh my. It says masterpiece on this page and then look at that. So true. There was one moment where the guy twin, I don't know their names, he was trying to say something to Dosan and I just kind of got this vibe that he has something to say or something. There's something there. I don't know. I feel like that'll be revealed later. That's just me. This is all speculation. I'm sometimes very wrong on K-dramas. The mom? Oh man. I hated the mom in the first episode. I guess I can kind of understand she wants her family provided for and everything, but at the same time, here are her daughters crying to her, saying that they saw their father beaten up by his boss, and she's just basically like, so what? It's like she could care less that, you know, here's her husband going through really, really rough stuff at his job and she's like, suck it up. And I get she wants her, like I said, I get that she wants her family provided for, but at the same time, that made me really mad. And maybe I'm biased because I really fell in love with the father. I think he was one of my favorites from the get-go. He's so, so sweet and so ambitious. It's almost like you could just look at his eyes and just see how ambitious he is. The actor, I don't know his name, but I think he played that character so well because he showed pretty much everything that you kind of knew. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I think this is one of the posters and I'm so excited if that is the case because I saw that picture when they released the teasers and it's beautiful. Okay, oh yeah, there's his thanks too. Okay, so still talking about the mom. The mom, I think she has definitely seen the outcome of her choices. Oh no, I tore the sticker. Oh no, guys. <laughs> I'm devastated. No. I'm so sorry. God, I hate tearing things. Oh! I think I'm just gonna show the photo cards. I have a Mark film strip and a Jin Young film strip so far. If you wanna see these pictures clear, let me know and I'll post them on social media. Oh, with their balloons, so cute. <laughs> I hope I got multiples of these because I really want to put one of these in my phone. <laughs> you know what? Okay, the unboxing I saw, I actually think these were my favorites. No lie. I'm pretty sure I told Brianna I really want the two of these. And look, all in one. And it's the Mark album. Thank you, Mark album. And thank you for being you because you're beautiful. Let's open Jackson's. Yeah, I think the mom is, is seeing the outcome of her choice. Money isn't everything. And I don't know if that was really her, her end game was to have a lot of money, but I do think that she didn't want to have the struggles of money at least, or having to worry about money that is. And now I think she's seeing that money isn't gonna solve all your problems. And it's in a very sad way that she's learning this, of course. <laughs> I got a Jackson film strip. Oh my God, if I get all their film strips, I'm gonna be so excited. I, I don't think my odds are great. Oh! Oh my God. Jamie's blowing a kiss. I don't think I saw this one in that unboxing I watched. I can't breathe. I'm so excited. Look how gorgeous Mark is. He's so cute, God, I love them, I love you. 
Okay, let me move on to another character. <gasps> the friends. Okay, so when I saw one of his friends, let me see their names. I get their names mixed up. Chulsun was on Crash Landing on You, and I just love him. Like, him as an actor, I love him because I fell in love with him in Crash Landing on You. Just the cast on Crash Landing on You, I fell so in love with all of them. It made me sad to let go of all those the cast members of that show because I could watch them forever. I think that casting is one of the most perfect castings I've ever seen in a K-drama. So seeing him on here, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this because I'm so used to him being like this innocent, like, like South Korea wave fan fanatic or I guess really K-dramas, like his obsession with K-dramas is so cute. God, Jin Young. Oh, I got two Jin Young film strips. Oh God. <laughs> Did they all do one of these? I don't know. Oh my God. Did they all have one where they're blowing a kiss? Cause if so, I can't, I can't handle that. Oh my God. I want a real Polaroid of JB. I want to be able to just go and take a real Polaroid photo of JB. Oh my God, I'm putting my fingerprints on this. Another Jin Young film strip, which I'm okay with. Cause he's gorgeous. There's something about Yong Sun that I feel is coming. I'll just put it that way. But yeah, I, I love the friends. The milk part. <laughs> late at night whenever I was watching this last night and I swear I had to have woken up some neighbor. I was dying laughing. I, oh my, I was screaming. It was so funny. Oh man, <laughs> I loved that so much. The other girl that works with them, Saha, is her name Sa Saha? I think, yeah. She, mm, hold on. Oh God. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see it. Oh my God. Saha, I don't know. In the beginning, I had huge trust issues with her. I didn't know if I trusted her. Did I drop? Guys, I am missing a film strip, I think. Get on here. Oh, I didn't get anything. That's this. Oh, this has a feeling. There's, there's texture there. Oh, why have I been missing this, by the way? Oh! I don't know why I've been missing these. Oh, dang. What's wrong with me? I don't know why I didn't realize these open. Perfect. I think I'm missing a film strip. I'll have to look around me and see if I dropped it, but I don't know. Oh, I really want to go to one of them. There was a recent order and I didn't place one. Regret it every day. Oh my god. Jackson, I love you. Don't ever change. Let's see who's in here. Mark. These feel like like pictures. Like the pictures you get printed out at a picture place. I don't know what that's it. Um, the glossy ones is what I mean. I literally did not have a film strip in there. I don't know. A keychain and a film strip missing. What could go wrong next? Okay. Um. Oh, bam, bam! Oh my God, how gorgeous! Is this? <gasps> what? <laughs> Another bam, bam! Oh my God, I just pulled out both of Brianna's biases one after another. It's getting cloudy outside. Did y'all see that lighting change? I don't know, maybe you didn't. Saha, I don't know if, I, I didn't trust her in the beginning. I did kind of feel like she was gonna be an important character to the, the team in some way. I felt like she was either gonna be with them or against them with her sister's team. That frustrated me when she was saying, should they talk to each other formally or informally? And she was like, no, no. And I was just like, me personally, I would have been like, well, girl, what do you want to do? Like, you say some suggestions if you have a better suggestion. That annoyed me. 
<laughs> I feel like her character is either gonna be a really good thing or a really bad thing. I still don't fully trust her. I feel like I'm trusting her a little more, but I don't know. I just don't know how to feel about her still. She's nice for now, but I feel like she could do something. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe some of y'all feel the same way. I just, I don't I keep saying I don't know, but I really don't know. I don't know how to feel about her character. There are times where I feel like I might like her, and then there's times where I'm like, I don't know. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> I am J film stress. Does that mean I have all my biases? Who would I be missing? Did I get a Mark one? I don't think I got a Mark one. I've got like two Jin Young ones. Oh, that film strip of Young J. Oh, <laughs> man, man. And this piece. Oh my god. It's so cute. <laughs> they really all did this, didn't they? <laughs> Oh my god! Please tell me I get a Jackson one. Oh, another Yu Gyum. Two Yu Gyums, two Bam Bams. Double trouble. Last one, Yu Gyum. Yu Gyummy. Oh god. This one really didn't want to cooperate. It did not want to stay a sticker. <gasps> I got a JB film strip. We didn't already have a JB film strip. I don't know. I don't know what I have anymore. This is the most albums I've ever gotten. <laughs> I'm losing track. I have a JB film strip. I'll show it on there. Oh my god. Oh, this is a Jackson card. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was wondering if it was gonna be a, blow, a kiss blowing one. Oh my. <sighs> It's like my bias is all in one. <laughs> my ultimate biases, that is. Three yu gi <laughs> Well, yu gi you have taken over. God, I just love having so much GOT7 stuff. I feel like this is one of the happiest moments of my life. This is gonna be a lot to clean up. I'm gonna have to do this after I stop. So let's talk about spoilers. Stop watching if you haven't watched the show and you are wanting to. I can't really say who I am feeling biased towards. I didn't talk about Dosan much because I feel like he as a whole is a spoiler. He is not technically a person in the first episode yet. We did see him in the newspaper, but me personally, I didn't think we would ever meet him. And so when we actually met him, I was like, wow, he exists and he's beautiful. My God. She's really got it cut out for her because these guys are both gorgeous, but she is all personality. She's only talked about how his hands are attractive. I feel like if a guy like that was asking me, what do you like about me? Of course I would definitely talk about personality because personality is a huge deal to me too, but I would have mentioned like, you're beautiful, like look at you. He's really sweet. He seems very self-conscious. He's definitely got self-esteem issues. He has a hard time standing with his chest up, you know? And that makes me really sad for him and I'm waiting for the moment. And I feel like his character is gradually doing that where he's starting to kind of puff up his chest a little bit. He's starting to kind of gain that backbone that he really doesn't have in the beginning. I'm waiting for the moment where he snaps and he's like, this is who I am. You love me or you hate me and I don't care. And I feel like he's gonna get there. I feel like it's gonna be something big that's gonna make him snap like that. But I'm just waiting for him to not be so much of a pushover for a lack of a better term. I feel so bad for him most of the time because I can, I can just tell he's really hard on himself. Rightfully so in a sense, you see the way his dad is with him and my God, his dad, the actor, I. I loved him on Strong Girl Bong Su. <laughs> He's one of my favorites of all shows. He was so funny in there. <laughs> uh, him playing both of those roles in that show. Anyways, yeah, it's so crazy to see him in such a serious role. As far as Dosan for me, I really love his character and I feel like I am swaying more towards him but I'm back and forth on both of these guys and I just know in the end I'm gonna be heartbroken because of course she's not gonna end up with both of them and that makes me sad. I feel like there would be more fire between her and Ji Pyong 
Ji Pyeong is much more of a strong personality and she kind of, she can sway both ways. It's like she can be Do San, like she can match his personality, but at other times it's like she can also match Ji Pyeong's personality and I feel like they would have that that burn always in their relationship. And I think that's so important in relationships. I think fighting and things like that are necessary in a relationship because if your relationship is always this solid wonderland, I feel like there's just, there's you don't have that wave. You have to have that wave. I personally feel that way. But I do like how supportive Dosan is and I feel like Ji Pyeong is also very supportive and he goes out of his way to be supportive too. They both do, but I sway. If I had to step out real quick, I had realized whenever I was getting up that the last film strip was in the Young Jay album. It fell inside of the plastic. Oops, but it was a Young Jay film strip, so yeah, that's what I got. I do swing back and forth from those guys. I think they both have different things to offer, and I, I just know my heart's gonna be so broken at the end of this because no matter who she chooses, it's gonna make me really sad for the other person because I like them both. I don't know, maybe something might happen that won't make it as heartbreaking. I guess we'll see about that. With the way the love triangle is now, it feels so much like a C drama to me. Chinese dramas have the most intense love triangles of all the dramas that I've ever watched. Granted, I haven't watched all like Asian dramas every country has to offer, but I've seen a fair amount of different countries' dramas and I definitely feel like Chinese dramas have the most intense love triangles and I feel like that is also the case here. So in the beginning, the part that I was talking about that was a spoiler was when her dad passed away. As soon as he was trying to decide how he was gonna cross that street, I just knew. When that car hit him, I was like, okay, that wasn't hard enough to probably kill him right now, but I knew, I was like, this is gonna turn out to be something so much more. I felt like he was at least going to be paralyzed and unable to work for the family. At most, I did see him passing away. And the longer he went with his nose bleeding like that and not getting any attention for it, I did feel like, he's going to pass away. This is, this is it for him. Oh my God, I knew it. And on the bus, oh my God, that just broke my heart. That was so sad. He had the chicken for Dami and oh my God. The, like thinking of it right now makes me wanna cry. That was so heartbreaking. When her sister came back around and was like rubbing in in her face, like you made the wrong decision and stuff. Here I'm thinking like, do you even know that your biological father is dead? And to this moment, I still really don't know. I feel like she knows now because she had mentioned how he was her late father when she was stealing Dami's story which I think is so, ugh. I just saw whenever she had to apologize for it because Dosan told her to apologize. I'm like literally right at that moment where they're like face to face and I feel like this moment, th that's where I stopped. I feel like at this moment is where Dosan is going to start showing even more of that backbone that he's getting and I'm so ready for it. I'm so ready for it. The big one that I really want to talk about right now and I wish I was talking to somebody in person <laughs> at the moment because I really want somebody else's perspective on it. Yongsan, I feel like he's the one that wants revenge. I don't know completely but I just I feel like it's got to be somebody we either know already or we don't know at all. I don't think it's anybody that's been in the background anywhere. There was one moment where I felt like there was some foreshadowing with him where I wish I could go back to it and find where it was but there was something about like somebody like some kind of betrayal that she was talking I don't know. Uh, I, I wish I could paraphrase what it was but there was something where it showed him and it was something about somebody not betrayal I guess it was a word kind of maybe related to that but it, it showed Yongsan and like at that moment when she was talking and and I don't know I just I feel like he's the he's gonna be the one but it could be somebody we have not even met yet I just don't think it's somebody else in the background and I 
Of course, don't think it's a main character. <laughs> Who do I think she's going to end up with? I feel like it's going to be Dosan. Very much so because he's been kind of the one that we've seen a lot more of. Of course, Ji Pyong is there often, but I feel like we see Dosan more. We've definitely seen more Dosan and Dami moments. And so I, oh God, I just feel like Ji Pyong is gone. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> When I think of him getting rejected, it kills my heart because he's been through so much as it is. They both have been through so much and of course I don't think she should go with anybody out of pity. I'm definitely not saying that, but it just makes me so sad. The things that I'm waiting for seeing, I want to see what's going to happen with the grandmother. I'm really sad for her losing her vision and I am starting to see that there's something kind of going to maybe happen between her and her ex-daughter in law I don't like that just because I feel like you know the grandmother she's so sweet and I feel like she could be very forgiving and not to say that she shouldn't forgive her ex-daughter-in-law and not to say that the ex-daughter-in-law doesn't kind of maybe need a break but at the same time she did it to herself I will accept it if it happens you know a person's forgiveness even though they're characters a person's forgiveness is their own I don't know maybe it'll help with the healing for the grandmother so that does make me happy and maybe the mother will realize even more. I know she already regrets what decision she made, but still, it makes me so upset thinking of how she did her ex-husband. Another thing I'm really waiting to see, so what's coming up very soon, I think on this episode, is when the investors are going to be listening to them talking. It's like demo day. So demo day is here for me right now, and I am very interested to see how that's gonna go. I don't know how to, what to expect from it, I'm hoping it's good, of course, because things are just kind of really bad for everybody right now. And it would be nice to have some kind of uplifting moment, but this is kind of the time in a K-drama where things just go horribly wrong. So we'll see. I feel like if she is going to end up with Ji Pyong, we're going to see much more of him in these next few episodes. I feel like if I don't see much more of him, then I'm pretty much going to be decided thinking that she's going to end up with Dosan. That's kind of the way I'm seeing it right now. Yes, I'm on episode 10. I am going to see how this plays out. I will probably finish it by the time I get this edited and up. So we can talk about it in the comments. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the show. Try to add notifications if there are spoilers and what you're talking about so that you won't ruin it for other people. Let's talk about it. I, I'm probably gonna wanna talk about the show a fair amount by the time I get this video up. <laughs> Got Seven albums. Amazing. So beautiful. I just love anything Got Seven. Yes, I do think they're very simplistic, but I think it also matches with this album too. Just the music of it in general. I've really fallen in love with this album more and more. The songs that I did really get excited for are the ones that I'm really seeing stick to me a lot. I've been listening to the entire album nonstop. I do have my favorites, but really every song. I can listen to this album from beginning to end and it's great. I just want to soak up all the GOT7 I can before they go to do their military service. I'm gonna be so sad when it happens. Yeah, let's talk about the show. Anything you want to say about the albums? If you want to mention what kind of photo cards you got, if you ordered the albums, comment down below. Any of the extra stuff you got, um, let me know if you want to see the posters. I will take photos of those if you do want to see them. Got seven and K dramas. Oh. Love it. This is one of my favorite videos ever. <laughs> well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel down below. Click the notification bell because we do post often. And we will see you next time here in K-Pop Sis. Bye!